of you have been watching the Rams Chicago game from the Windy City where the Bears halt their losing streak and extend the Rams losing streak 20 to 10 the final there and here we have eight minutes and 31 seconds to go in the first quarter the Philadelphia Eagles have just driven 96 yards in 13 plays every one of them on the ground and here's the touchdown run Terry Bradshaw of Keith Byers. This is the counter trap by the Eagles that you know so well from the Washington Redskins pull the left guard and the left tackle Byers gets in behind him once he got into the linebackers he was able to break tackles and the safeties grabbed on and he carried them in great effort by Byers. Luis and Dejas will kick off. Vern Lundquist and Terry Bradshaw here in Denver, Colorado, where the Philadelphia Eagles are playing the Denver Broncos for only the sixth time. A spotlight of quarterbacks is what we have expected in Randall Cunningham and John Elway, but the Eagles, who saw the kickoff bobble at their own four-yard line and put together a most impressive drive, 96 yards, 13 plays, every one of them from the foot zone. Every one of them on the ground against the team that is ranked fourth against the rush and did an outstanding job counter counterpunch. They know you're good against the run. The Eagles came out and said, we're going to prove to you that we can run the football. Then Dejas will kick it deep to Ken Bell and Daryl Carrington. This is Bell at the goal line. the tackle and here comes John Elway on the field for the first time 202 yards in the fourth quarter last week and for the season seven touchdowns and eight interceptions he really erupted in the second half of that win over Seattle his offensive line Perry who had a horrid game last week Keith Karst is injured and uh, may be able to go the distance today Clarence K starts at tight end Bobby Humphrey and Melvin Bratton the rookie starting backfield and Vance Johnson Mark Jackson the wide receivers Young and Boker come in on passing down. Denver opens with a double tight end set, however, on first down. Play fake. And Elway comes left. Caught by Vance Johnson. Gets up and scoops out of bounds at the 47-yard line. If you're going to throw the football against Philadelphia, the best time to do it is on first down. That That's because that white 92 the end is always on the outside night not over the nose of the center play action come back and find your guys and throw it that's the best time to throw against philadelphia avoid third and long if you possibly can vance johnson 5 11 185 pounder a 22 yard game first and 10 to 47. humphrey deep back in the eye behind melvin Bratton. here's the cost to humphrey follows it Get the perfect basketball bounce back into his arms. And the ball is whistled dead before the second fumble on that uh, nasty looking play. Philadelphia defense, and they have played extraordinarily well. Reggie White, Fitz Brown, and Simmons, the front four. The linebackers, Joyner Evans and Harris. The defensive secondary has been a little bit shaky in some games. Jenkins, Allen, Hopkins, and Waters, Brazell, and Everett come in as the nickel and dime back respectively. And the first thing that the Eagles did, burn after that completion by Elway was bring Reggie Wyatt out of the end and put him at nose tackle over the center. One of them going to allow Elway to throw on first down. Sewell and Winder are in the backfield now out of the shotgun. Elway. Yep. Picked off by Izell Jenkins. Number 46. Looks for a convoy and counter punches to the 41-yard line. The pass just a little bit high, but then it uh, was hit by a receiver and returned 18 yards. Plenty of time for Elway to set up and throw. Plenty of time to pick out his receivers. Good job by his line. Notice no stunts by the rush. Plenty good pocket. Finds his man and just gunned it a little bit high. That's Vance Johnson, 82, that the pass was intended for, but thrown a little high. And did he or did he not catch it? Jenkins. Well, they're going to look at it on replay. Yeah, well, we can see if he trapped it. If it, if it holds, it's Izell Jenkins' fourth interception of the year. That ball was really whistling, wasn't it? Right off of Johnson's you know, hand. If you throw one high like that, or you throw one hard like that, it's best to have it low so your receiver can react. Let's see if, if Jenkins did indeed make the interception. Looks to me like, oh, yeah. 
I don't know, Terry, that there's enough evidence there to overrule the uh, the, the conclusion that it was a uh, an interception. Welcome, those of you who've been watching the Phoenix-Dallas game where the Cowboys lose their eighth in a row and Gene Stallings' team wins back in the city in which he coached for so many years. Philadelphia leads Denver here 7-0. They went 93 yards for the opening drive, or 96 yards, rather. Every one of them on the ground. Jim Honey just announcing in the background that the play will stand. There was not conclusive evidence to overrule it. Oh, that's a very good call. Bill Fetty, the uh, replay judge. First down on Isel Jenkins' pass interception. Byers for the 14th straight time. The Eagles run the ball. Just a, a quick recap for those of you who just joined us. On the opening drive, the Eagles went 96 yards in 13 plays, every one of them on the ground. Byers got a 16 yard for the touchdown. Isel Jenkins just got the interception for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the second down now. Byers and Higgs in the backfield. Tony on the bench. Byers going left. Good block from Heller. They are ripping this Denver Bronco defense to shreds, Terry. That's a 13-yard game. They're running the counter trap, pulling both offside guard and tackle. And all, all that happens is that Byers will get in, Byers will get into the pocket of the offside guard. left guard you know, on your screen that'd be the right guard and the right tackle pulling out they play the Redskins run they just copped it and doing a very fine job what a block by Ron Heller on Rick Dennison first and ten again on the ground it's Byers we're gonna do it and do it again and then we'll do it one more time until you learn well the fans Byers is injured now Tony went out lifting a while ago fans are getting upset and what's happening is that there's really no change up in the in the Broncos uh, scheme, Vern. It's just very pretty much basic. And what's going to happen now is with the Eagles being able to run the football, they're going to have to get back to their slants, their stunts. They may even have the Broncos may even have to start blitzing. You can blitz to try to stop the run. And once they do that, though, they expose their corners and allow Cunningham an opportunity to throw deep and beat them. First and ten, draw play. Keith Sherman, number 23. Seventeen plays now on the ground. And they've got the ball at the 10-yard line. We'll get a report from the bench on Byers and Tony as quick as we can, but uh, Tony went out on the first series, and you just saw Keith Byers went out. Oh, Buddy Ryan has said we, we're going. This may be carrying establishing the ground game to an extreme. Second down and four. And again, they run it. Sherman. Ron Holmes, number 90, acquired early in the season on a trade with Tampa Bay. Well, that's the first time we've seen the stunt by the Denver Broncos. When, when a team is running the ball extremely well on you and consistently doing it, you have to get out of what you normally do. And normally what the Broncos do is play the 3-4 three, three, defense very solid, very limited, no stunning, no blitzing. But now the Eagles are forcing them to change their attack. First pass, complete, Sherman. Fumble. Philadelphia ball. So Heath Sherman gets the uh, grab of the first pass from Randall Cunningham. Now, did he get the first down? They will bring out the chain. It'll be short, says Randall Cunningham. Fourth down. Buddy Ryan, go for it. You're on the road. It might snow. 
You're going to San Diego after the game for a week. Keep the clock running. You're five and two. You've run for 135 yards already. You don't want to throw another pass the rest of the day. Go for it.